How to Create Networks in Atlas TI 9 Mac. Here you see the code manager. The density for all codes is zero. This means that codes have not yet been linked to each other. You can begin creating a network by selecting codes in the code manager or in any other code list. Right click one of the selected codes and select the option Open Network. Another way to add codes or other entities to a network is via the Add Nodes button. All items in a network are called nodes. You can grab each node with the mouse and move it to a different position. To link nodes to each other, select a node and drag the little circle that appears at the top left to another node. Let go of the mouse and select a relation from the list provided. Here you see the standard relations that come with the software, plus a few user-defined relations. You will learn later in the video how you can create your own relations. If none of the existing relations fits the link you want to make, then you can also create a new relation in the process of linking. Enter a name for the new relation, select a color and the relation property. Explaining relation properties is beyond the scope of this video. You will find a link to another video below and in the comment field that explains relation properties and other aspects of networks in more detail. If you want to explain why two codes are related, right-click on a relation and write a comment. Let's add a few other entity types via the Add Nodes option. If there is an existing direct or indirect link, as here, between documents and codes, lines are immediately drawn. Document code connections are displayed via a blue dotted line. The quotation just added is part of document 3, and therefore a link to the document node is shown. The quotation that was just added is coded with one of the codes in the network. This link is also immediately drawn. If you link a quotation to a quotation, you can create a hyperlink. Hyperlinks, like code code links, can be named and you can select a relation. Other entity types you can add to a network are memos, all entity groups, and other networks. Memos can be linked to codes, quotations, and other memos. If you link a quotation to a code in a network, it means that this quotation is now coded with this code. Here you can see the result of the connections that were made in the network. Thus, everything you do in a network has an effect on your entire project, and vice versa. Everything that you link elsewhere can also be visualized in a network. To remove an entity from a network, right-click and select the Remove from Network option, or click the Delete key on your keyboard. This will only remove, but not delete, the entity. When you are done adding entities and linking them, you can apply one of the layout options. This is the Grid layout. And this is the Circle layout. Based on a standard layout, you can make some additional manual adjustments. You can manage, create, or modify existing code-code or hyperlink relations in the respective relation manager. Here you see the code-code relation manager. To create a new relation, click on the plus button. Add a relation name, select the formal property, and if you wish, modify the default line width and color. To add or modify a hyperlink relation, open the Relation Manager from the Quotation menu. For instance, if you want to indicate different strengths of relations, you can adjust the line width as shown in the example here. In the last part of this video, we would like to show you some common mistakes and how to avoid them. Potentially, you can add all quotations of a code to a network. But networks are not a tool to read quotations. You can display quotation previews, but in most cases it will be difficult to even fit them all on one screen. Quotation previews can be useful if you only add a handful of quotations to a network. The aim in this case is to add some illustrative examples instead of reading the quotations. In order to read all quotations linked to a code, 
Simply double-click on the code in any code list and read them conveniently in the quotation reader. Another mistake is to add too many nodes to a network, which, for example, can easily be done by importing co-occurring codes, as shown here. Atlas TI networks can look beautiful. But to be analytically useful, you do not only want to create a beautiful visualization, but also a meaningful one, 